Okay, so today we're going to replace the LCD screen in a compact Presario CQ56. Uh, you're going to need a small flat screwdriver, a small Phillips head screwdriver, a razor blade, and a pair of tweezers. Uh, first step that we have to do is down along in this side here, there's on each side, there's two screws that have small black plastic covers. Let's take your razor blade and pop them off. Itty bitty things, just put those to the side, you'll need those later. There's one. Where'd the other one go? It's off, but it fell down in here. Set those to the side so you don't lose them. And down behind there, there are two screws. Uh, the easiest way to get to them is you take your small flat and slowly get them to start unscrewing. And you'll be able to take your Phillips. Get them to screw out. Your tweezers to remove the screw so they don't fall down into the jam. Okay, the next step is to remove the buzzle around the screen. Slowly and carefully, take your time. Lift up on the inside, it'll start to separate. All the way around the screen. Tip it forward. The bottom ones are a little pain to get to. Tip the screen forward and you'll be able to get them to pop off. And then remove the bezel. Side to the side, you'll need it to put it back together. Now on the screen, there are four screws. I need uh, two on each side, one at the top, one at the bottom. The easiest way to get to them is you, you'll see at the bottom, there's four screws here and four screws here. Loosen those up. You don't need to take them out all the way. If you do, it's not a big deal. It's important that any screws that you do take out, keep in groups so that they go back in the same place. You don't want to mix them up. Once you have your screws loose on the bottom, you'll see there's two at the top. You can take those completely out. You can remove the ones at the top. If you can't get to the ones on the bottom, you can loosen the screws up more on the, the bottom four. Uh, these bottom four, they hold the plastic back cover on. So once you get them loose enough, you can get in here and get these out of the side. So 
Our one side is undone. Take the screen, lay it completely forward. And then you'll see on the back, there's the cable that comes in. You'll need to remove the plastic adhesive that is holding it down. With the corner up, you can take your tweezers Once that's completely up, just take and slowly pull out your the video cable. It comes right off. Remove your old screen. It's all destroyed and trash. You want to take your new screen, set it down in the same place. and we'll reattach the video cable. Nice and carefully, slide the pins back up into the mount. Snaps in there. Take your little adhesive tape, reaffix. Take a look, make sure that you're all connected there and then just start putting it back together. You want to remember that if your screen came with a plastic cover to remove the tape along the sides and fold it forward, otherwise you won't be able to remove the tape once you get it back into the 